Take your time coming onto a comfortable seated position. Tonight, we're going to do root chakra. So the next seven weeks, including tonight, we're going to do the seven chakra series. Root chakra. You might yourself come onto a comfortable position. your eyes, place the back of the hand resting on your thigh, feeling the connection of your thigh, buttocks, relax into the space, Softening your head, your facial muscles, your arms, your hands, deep breath in, all the way further out of your lower abdomen. Inhale again. Exhale. One more. Next, we're going to be practicing uh, Swa Yoga breath work. We've done this for some time ago. So place your left hand into your chest, right hand into your core, your right pinky finger pointing at your navel, right thumb connecting to your left fingertips, left pinky fingers. You breathe in, three, two, one, exhale, five, six. The technique is to lifting your chest and your core at the same height. Please inhale one, two, three, exhale five, six, lowering down at the same time. This is the universal consciousness breath. Inhale one, two, three, exhale five, six. We're going to do this for the next two minutes. Inhale, one, two, three, exhale, five, six, in, two, three, out, six, in, two, three, out, six, take your time, two, three, out, six, just feeling your chest, feeling your core. Rising at the same time, falling at the same time. Breathe it in. One, two, three, five, six. In, 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 out, out. In, 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 out. Synchronizing your individual consciousness with universal consciousness. Swa Yoga. Highest level of breath work. Very easy exercise and you can practice anytime, anywhere. A very gentle and the softer style of breath work. No strenuous, no pushing, no forcing. And notice whether your entire body is softening again. Letting it go. One, two, three, five, six. One, 
Continue the inhale out on your own. Feeling that the energy becomes so prominent. Now, if possible, inhale, tightening your root chakra. Adding a low force, naturally tightening the face. Keep your body still if you can. Exhale, letting it go. Bring your hands back to your kneecap. Take three deep breaths, rebalancing and regrounding yourself. Next inhale, we're going to place our hands outside of our nostrils, covering our nostrils. We're going to measuring and find out if you are left nostril breathing or right nostril breathing. For those who are new to the Swana Yoga technique, now our left and right nostrils, they take turns. They don't breathe at the same time, very rarely unless you have Shusuna Nadi that is going on. Most people, we breathe into the left nostril predominantly and in an hour change to the right nostril. Now this left and right alternative breathing nature governs our health. Let's just find out which nostril you're breathing first. So when you're placing your Palm outside of your nausea, you will notice that air comes in and out. Now, one side is going to be heavier, which is your dominating side of breath. When you identify one side, can you tell? Sometimes it may be difficult to tell if it's 45 versus 55%. Now, the reason we wanted to know which side of nausea is breathing because it governs our activities. That is, when we do certain activities, we want it to have one side that is more dominant. Now, when those people you are in pain, 
This is very important to know which side of the nostril is breathing heavily. So, for example, if I am in pain right now, when we check our breath and find out our right nostril breathing, a simple technique to release the pain is to change your dominating breath nostril. How do we do that? So if right now I'm right nostril dominating, what I do is closing my right nostril and place my left fist place my left fist under my right armpit and also closing my right nostril using my second finger now this way I'm closing my right nostril I'm breathing through our left nostril And this will change your breath, change your dominating breath. This is interfering your breath flow and changing the breathing pattern, which resulting in reducing your pain. And in terms of your bedroom activities, when you want to conceive for female, when you engage in your bedroom activity, you want it to predominantly have your left nostril on. For those of you online, if you are trying to conceive, when we're doing healing, anything in relation to healing, meditation, yoga, you want to have your left nostril on. So when you start, if you notice it's your right nostril is on, you want to change your breath, towards the left so for female you want to have your left nostril on when you engage sexual activity for male you want to have the opposite so for male when you engage in sexual activity your left nausea breathing you want to close it down change towards the right because the right side of the body representing our young energy which is the masculine side of energy and for female, left side, or for everyone, the left side of the body is representing the yin energy. So now I'm going to predominantly breathing through my left nausea as I'm doing meditating, yoga, and healing practice. stay here with the left nausea breathing simply in and out for a minute you can count on your own inhale one two three four exhale four three two and just on your own.
So release yourself. Now in the event that there is your pain to practice while yoga, particularly for healing or for specific purpose you want to change your swa yoga, which is your breast dominating nostril. Now if you don't know which nostril breathing, what to do. Now there is a trick using a mirror. <coughs> Excuse me. So you place the mirror this way just right below your nostril and we know in winter you should be able to identify the fox on the mirror so you breathe in and then breathe out when you breathe out the fog will leave mark on the mirror the larger side of the fox that are indicating that's your dominating breath all right let's come on to our first posture Root Chakra, Child Pose, to release the blocks or cushions all the way. Come to Child Pose, extending your arms, this extended Child Pose. And gently open your thighs, give the torso a little space so you can fall down all the way down to the floor. When you get ready, become comfortable, place your arms beside your body. Put your head onto the ground. Simply surrounding yourself onto child pose. Now bring your inner awareness, your third, your inner mind, focusing on the root chakra, which is the base of your spine. The color is red. It's four petals of a lotus. The element is fire. It governs our safety, security. Senses of self and the mantra is I am and the sound produces as L A M Lam Imagine red light, red flowers, and four petals concentrating, starting the fire energy, burning at the base of your spine. Breathe in and out through the base spine. Tightening it if you can.
and slowly beginning to move your body come back up to broken toe posture as you come back up to seated position you begin adjusting your toes and you are sitting on your toes now so your heels off the floor and you place your palms on your thighs Lengthen your upper body, chest forward, take sacrum forward. Breathe in, tightening the front and the back of the muscle into the spinal cord. You're trying to tighten, bring the front of the body back in and the back of the body forward in, and then tighten the base, sit tall. Now, if the toes feel a little discomfort, you might want to simply sit to your feet flat and making some adjustment or possibly use a little cushion to support there's one behind grab a cushion for yourself so use the prop here that's where the cushion goes give a little bit of support as you close your eyes here Bring your awareness all the way to the base of your spine. Inhale, tightening it. Exhale, letting it go. Ujjayi breath if you can. I am safe, I am grounded, I connect within, I am enough, I'm supported, I know who I am, I feel abundant, receive abundance visualize four petals of red flowers at the base of the spine breathe in with the thigh element Begin to slowly release yourself forward, your body forward, release your feet and toes. Maybe gently tap, tap your toes, letting go of tension. And we're beginning to transition to a tangling posture so on your toes again. Off your knees, down a facing dog, then slowly walk your hands towards your feet. Bending your knees if you need it to, and simply tangling here, letting your arms go. Holding your elbows if you wanted to, otherwise simply hang your, uh, your upper body and your hands, let the tangling there. As your head is upside down, you're shifting your perspective. Now turning your attention back to the base of the spine. Tighten it if you can. Lift 
see your tiny body, you're going to fly it to the ceiling. Allow the energy to flow upside down, cleansing all of those old thoughts. Those old energy that are stored in your head that no longer functions, no longer serves you, letting it go. Continue to observe the base of your spine, 10 more seconds. And gently shaking your arms, holding your elbows and letting them rise. As you do so, begin to walk your feet a little wider and bring your base of your spine back down, transitioning to squat, malasana. Now if you are having challenge in your squat, bring a block, sit on the block, that block is over there, you can sit on the block. Adjusting the height, maybe number two is a good level to start. Arms in prayer, Ajani Mudra position. Elbows, arms, forearms, parallel with the floor if you use the block. Otherwise, and just squat. Malasana. Bring the tailbone down. And lengthening, lifting your upper throat spine, chest forward, softening your facial muscles. Inhale as you're tightening the base of your spine. Lock the root chakra, holding the energy in your torso. Strengthening, allow the energy to rise up all the way, firing up in your spinal cords. Energize yourself, rejuvenating your entire core being. Continue to focus on the base of your spine. Visualize red color, the red line, holding you safe, grounding yourself. Now 
feel abundance, be a red light in your safety, grounding yourself, provide your abundance, security, secure your relationship with money, with parents, with yourself. I am. I am, I am, exhale slowly, transitioning to white leg stick position, simply just remove your block, sitting on the floor, White leg, we're going to stay here for a little longer, now you a bit more comfortable. Take a few moments really just to let your feet relax a little bit before your forward fold. Adjusting your spinal cord to see if it's straight enough. Inhale, pulling the energy, visualize it rising up from the base of your spine, passing your sacrum, cleansing your core, rising through your heart, cleansing, detoxing your throat, all the way to the crown. Softening yourself. Exhale, begin to gently walk your hands away from your torso. You may still consider to use a block to support your forehead. Or start somewhere halfway. Bending your knees if that helps. Bring the toes closer to your body, that is kicking your heels, your heels away. Sacrum bone forward and the chest forward. When you settle down in the posture, bring your awareness back to the base of your spine. Continue to imagine a four petals of lotus. Continue to tighten the base of your spine. Really feel the root chakra. Being super aware of your Muradhara. Chest forward a little bit more. And inhale one, two, three, exhale five, six, if you can get a hand of it. At the same time, tightening your root chakra during inhale.
Your posture is somewhat in a way a quite comfortable ways. That is the body becomes quite naturally to be able to hold into this posture for some time. Slowly to bring you relax yourself, come back up and gently walk your hands, elbows supporting your upper body. Come back to seat. Very slowly, bending your one the knees one at a time, and out of the follow. Round yourself in, give yourself a big hug. Inhale, open it up. Bring your hands behind your body, beside. Then just turning your knees towards the right, turning your head towards the left. Letting go of the tension, grabbing a hold up in your hips, in your thighs, opposite side. Two more rounds. Back to the center. And slowly transition to a lying down position. Come onto your back. Low back supported, bending your knees, bring the knee 
squeeze in, bows missing, squeeze in towards the chest. Exhale, letting it go. Palms on top of the knees, still holding it. Inhale, bring both your knees in. Squeeze it tight. Exhale, letting it go. One more round. Inhale, squeeze it in. Exhale, letting it go. And now inhale, bring both the knees in. Squeeze it tight. Hold it for a minute. Focus on your root chakra. And feel the vibration of the lung. Squeeze the base, softening, softening all other areas. Exhale, softening. Letting your knees go away, still holding your knees. And next, inhale, lifting your head, tightening your root chakra, tightening your core. Hold it here. Hold it into your inhale. Exhale, letting it down. And inhale, tightening your root chakra, your core, lifting your head, holding it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Final round, inhale, lifting your head, trying to kiss your kneecap, tightening your root chakra, your core. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze tight before you let yourself go. Feet on the floor. Just two breath. Straightening your legs a little. Shake, shake. Preparing for happy baby, the 
bending your feet on both of the knees back to your chest sending the feet towards the ceiling holding the out edge of the feet and pressing the knees open and down towards your armpit now see if you're still grounded seconds touching the ground and then bring pressing the knees down Following the vibration, you can silently chanting the song Lam L A M. The sounds like inhale. Lam. Hold the body into stillness. Slowly release yourself. Slide your hands out as you feel lower leg. Bring your feet back down to the floor. Straightening your legs one at a time. And just three breaths. Keep your attention in the base of the spine. Bring the knees back in, bend the feet on the floor. Bring a, a block supporting the base of your spine, Sakrami Chakra. Support the bridge. Have this block supporting your Sacrum Chakra. Now your arms can be 30 degrees beside your body. You can bring your arms over your head, holding your elbows, or holding your ankle, holding your fingers. Now the knees, if you're comfortable here, stay, otherwise, you might even want to lengthen, straighten your legs out. Some people found this more comfortable. So you make your own adjustment if it fits you. Now if you're coming down, straightening your legs, you might want to adjust in your block position. And for others, you might want to try butterfly. This support to the base of your spine, perhaps a little bit easier for you now to focus on the base. And 
keep silent and I say I am saying I am grounded I am enough I am abundant I'm connected to my true self I am saying I am secure, I am enough, I am abundant. Slowly lifting your core depends on where your feet or your knees are. Bring your feet back, step down, lifting your core, and remove the block. Vertebrae by vertebrae, resting back down on the base. Straightening your leg one at a time. Ready for Shavasana. <laughs> Surrender all the way. Imagine the red fire rising from the base of your spine, keeping you safe, keeping you warm, providing you the energy that you needed to feel you safe, grounded.
I am safe, I am grounded, I am abundant, I am love, I am, I'm connected to who I am. Gently bring your awareness back to your body. There's a stronger sense of safety, grounded, I am, abundance, enough. Slowly rolling yourself to one side. Holding down a higher level of awareness. Back to your seated position. And bring your palms together. And jam in the jar. With much gratitude. Appreciation self-awareness, knowing that you are supported, you're safe, you're secure, you're protected. Bring your thumb to your third eye. Most love, wisdom, insight towards yourself. Gently bow forward. Namaste. Rub your palms, feeling the heat, the love, the safety, the grounding energy you generate for yourself. Raise over your eyes. Slide open your eyes, gently blink. Have a lovely evening. Thank you for joining me. How are you feeling? Good, feel more grounded. Yes, beautiful. Each chakra governs different energy. From time to time, it's important to remind ourselves.
And this spray is really earthy, I believe it's sandalwood. Yeah, sandalwood is really grounding and smells very earthy as well. Mm -hmm. And yes, it's the earth element. Go to peace and serve the God. Have a good night. Thank you for those joining us online. Bye for now. We'll see you on Sunday.